Brain activity in porn addiction. What is the difference? I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm going to share this with you and it's based on science. So what I'm going to share in this video is that first and foremost, the brain activity in a person who has consumed consistent and frequent pornography is very different than a healthy comparison brain. So I need you to know that because that is why I am here. Secondly, I'm going to show you exactly how those differences happen and what the implications are for you. So let's dive in. I'm going to pull the the study up so that I can reference it because um, I don't want to miss anything in this video. So first and foremost, this is a study that was conducted uh, by Cambridge professor Valerie Voon. You can look that up. And if you look up the study, you'll find there's so many other references in the study. It's very cool because if you're into this stuff, you'll be able to see exactly there's images that are um, shared, which I will also share on my blog post at Dr. Trish Lee. So you can see these brain scans. So first and foremost, let's talk about the difference in someone's brain when they view explicit material erotic material and exciting material. So let me tell you the difference between those three things. First of all, explicit is pornographic material. Erotic is a woman who's fully clothed, but is dancing around sexy images like that. Third is exciting. It's images of motorcycle riding and money, things that would give your brain some excitement, but nothing that is sexual in nature. And what you will see on this brain scan is that brain activity is, if we can see activation in the exciting mode, we can see even more activation in the erotic mode and there is so much more activation in the prefrontal cortex and in the limbic system, the reward circuitry and the motivational circuitry in the brains of someone who has been consuming pornography in the explicit condition. So what does that mean? It means that if you have watched pornography and you're exposed to pornography, your brain responds to the nth degree much, much, much higher in those areas than a healthy comparison brain. And the reason that that is important is because we know from other science that that is what trashes the reward circuitry and the motivational circuitry in the midbrain, in the limbic system in the brain. You're, you're messing with that reward circuitry. And what the science shows is that because you go back for frequent and consistent you know, dumps of dopamine, as I'm always talking about it, or this hyperactivation of those areas, what happens is that the reward circuitry burns out and it desensitizes. So what that means is that you need more frequency, more consistency, and higher intensity over time to be able to get the same level of those neurochemical releases and the activation in those reward systems. What also is shown by this study is that it is creating underactivity in the prefrontal cortex, which is the control system in your brain. So the control or the breaking in your brain isn't working because it is being trashed also. There's another implication for this study, which I will talk about in another video, is that if you're young, the younger you are, and this was a secondary finding, the younger you are, the development of the area in the prefrontal cortex was delayed. So if you were exposed to pornography when you were young, which is the case for so many people, the prefrontal cortex in your brain is delayed in development. And what that means is that you may not have healthy levels of executive function skills, planning and organization, kind of the captain of your ship, as we call it, up here in the frontal lobe, uh, decision making, socialization, being able to pump the brakes on anxiety. That all resides up here and that area hasn't grown up the way that it should have. Okay, so another finding, and I'm just peeking at the images so I can make sure I don't forget them, is that those areas in the brain, in the limbic system, which basically process memories, decision-making, emotional responses, especially fear and anxiety and aggression, 
those are being constantly activated if you keep going back to the screen. And so what that means is, again, their ability to function over time decreases because they are being burnt out. And in this study, it's a chart, which is pretty easy to see, that it shows that compared to the exciting money, motorcycles, boats, compared to the exciting condition, the explicit condition has much higher levels of activation in these areas. So again, just, you know, not treating that area of your brain in a healthy way. Uh, okay, so the last thing that I wanted to share with you, and this is such a crazy finding of this study also, is that what this finding shows is that desire in those areas of brain of your brain that control desire exponentially are higher it, when you have a brain that goes back for more pornography and guess what's lower actually liking it so desire is high liking it is much lower and this is so interesting and it's looking at the comparison between someone who has consumed a lot of pornography versus healthy active brains healthy activation so compared to healthy brains and we can see in all three conditions that is lower in it in desire for the healthy brains so first of all your brain is going to desire pornography more than a healthy brain and then secondly it likes it less than it desires it but still more than a healthy brain none of which is good for you Okay, so what do you do about it? Obviously, you need to unwire, rewire, and hardwire your brain in the right direction. So understanding this will hopefully help you. Uh, knowledge is power, and that's part of the rewiring and hardwiring process and motivation and inspiration to unwire. So unwiring, you need to abstain. That's all that's to it. You have to stay away from the screen and you know how I feel. You need to fill that gap in your life with something that is important to you. You need to get on purpose in your work, in your relationships, and in your hobby hobbies so that you have something to fill that gap in your life. You have to stay away and let your brain start unwiring itself. And it will do it. Neuroplasticity proves it and there are scientific studies that proves that it will unwire by itself if you stay away. But if you rewire your brain by, let's just say, not using the reward center all the time and trashing it, so that is going to rewire it in the right direction. And this is a step you can actually take is you can exercise more control and start growing up that prefrontal cortex that needs to develop, especially if you started watching porn when you were young. You need to allow that area of your brain to come online and develop. The younger you are, the more you have development on your side, but even for older people, it still can happen via neuroplasticity. So then you gotta hardwire in this new better pattern using your behaviors, your attitudes, your thought processes, you need to be able to tap into your emotions. You need to be able to release any traumas from the past or any pain so that you can feel good being in the world and not needing to escape into porn. Okay, I hope this helps you understand the differences between a healthy brain and a brain that has been going back to porn consistently and frequently. Uh, just to sum it up, the main difference is that the reward system is being overworked, so it needs, it starts being uh, fried, for lack of a better word, and so then it, you become desensitized and you need to go back for even more so that your brain gets the same levels. At the same time, your prefrontal cortex is not doing the breaking and it's learning not to break your impulses and not to uh, you know, pivot when you need to. It impacts your decision making. And the younger you are, the worse this is for you but you're gonna use neuroplasticity to get your brain moving in the right direction. And if you want help doing that, please go over to my website at drtrishley.com. There's courses there of different sizes. And of course, if you wanna train your brain with me personally, I'm down for it because that is the best way to rewire your brain as quickly as possible. Okay, remember, control your brain or it will control you.